What's going on guys? We're out here today and today we are going to be hatching some chicks. I hope so anyway. So in the last couple of videos, which I will link right uh, there somewhere, we actually have been hatching chicks. So in case you haven't saw those videos and don't want to watch them because they are pretty long, I'll just tell you what happens. So in the first video, we gathered some eggs, built us a brooding box, got a hen to sit in it, and she was trying to hatch some eggs. So 21 days, well actually more than 21 days went by and the eggs never did hatch really sad so i checked them they were rotten they didn't grow also mr cluck died in that video if you guys haven't saw the news yet it's pretty bad mr cluck did die um he actually kind of killed him it's very sad i've missed the guy so in the second video i found out that the chicks didn't hatch from the eggs so we went and bought some chicks and you know we just did that and then i put some more eggs under the hen and it's actually day 21 now so that is why we're out here today so let's see what's going on here you guys need water one second there you go. Anyway, here we are. Here's the nesting box. Well, brooding box, I guess. Looks pretty good there. There's actually an eggshell there that wasn't there like a couple of days ago. So that means either she broke an egg or one hatched. Let's see. She's also pulled a lot of feathers out of her. Chickens, whenever they're sitting on eggs or hatching chicks, they'll actually do that to keep them closer to her body heat. Okay, she's still very mad. That's great. Oh, I heard one. I just heard one, guys. Oh my God. There's another eggshell right there. Hopefully that hatched. I just heard a chick though. I swear I heard a chick. Where's it at, hen? There's one, there's one. Oh wow, yes. We finally hatched a chick. Is that the only one you've got in there, mama hen? All right, so she could still be hatching them. I don't wanna mess with her too much, just in case they're not done hatching. Cause I did see another egg in there. So I'm actually gonna replace this food. I gave her this before I even got the other chicks, so I didn't have chick food to give her. But now since the chicks, or at least one of them has hatched, she does need to have chick food, at least for the chicks to eat. Because if they eat this, it's way too much calcium for them. And it can hurt their kidneys and this just needs cleaned up. We'll just give this to the other chickens. There you go. Well, I think I just lost that. Oh, no, it's right here. Cool. By the way, while we're at it, good. I'll go ahead and show you. Oh, wow. It actually looks like their lights out, but they should be fine. It's really hot out right now and they're past the age right now where they need it like constantly. The outside temperature should be good enough for a few hours. So uh, yeah, they get it dirty very fast. They're very messy creatures. Uh, they need food also. We'll go ahead and give them some of that while we're at it. All right. And uh, the water just has a bunch of food and poop in it. So uh, I'll just clean it up. Yeah. If you've never had chickens and you're thinking about getting them, it's really cool, but they're very messy. As you can see in the last chicken video, we had two that died then right after we bought them and sadly two more died one of them was these buff brahmas here and the other one was a uh, barred rock but we still have one of each and they're chasing a bug awesome eat it cool nice so yeah that sucks but they're all about three weeks old now so in a couple of weeks we'll actually be able to put them with the chickens up there so i'm really looking forward to that but when we do that we may actually have to take a uh, cluck jr out because he's uh well he's very vicious we'll just say that if you watched him beat up mr cluck you know what i mean all right, I'm not going to give them too much because they'll probably ruin it anyway. By the way, this is for the uh, hen and the chicks in there. Oops, I spilled some. There you go. Now you don't have to go far. Yeah, good job. Now show your chicks where it's at, stupid. I'm joking, I'm joking. I know you know what you're doing. You've done this twice now, and I've done it three times. Wait a second. Yeah, I'll go get them a new lot, by the way, here in just a second. And apparently they can fly. Well, that's not good. Um, here, let's put this in there. Maybe it'll come down here to it. Yeah, come down here. Yeah, right here. Now, so we have eight now. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and then number eight's up there. So uh, you, down, now, come on. All right, whatever. You just don't get to eat any food. It thinks there's food, it thinks there's food. And there it is. Ha <laughs> ha, you loser. Did I just call a little tiny newborn chick a loser? Yes, yes I did. I don't know why this feed bag's here. All right, let's see if we can rig us up some kind of a redneck feed bag glove. Maybe a raccoon or something dragged it here. Here's your food. Wow, that's it? Not even really excited? Never mind. Continue. And then there's this. For some reason, the water is always dirtier than the feeder. Well, it's just because it's water. And water makes things gross, and I guess it also makes things clean. Which I guess that's kind of like how it can keep us alive, but uh, it can also kill us pretty easily. Well, this is taking a while. All right, here we go. I'm actually gonna give them some of this first though. Man, I spilled that one too, cool. All right, there's your water. I'm gonna have to put it over here, I guess. And here's the food. So, I'm not gonna bother the hen anymore today because it is the hatch day. We'll come back out tomorrow and see how she's doing. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Welcome back guys, it is actually not tomorrow, it's been a couple days. So here we are. How's it going? You're laying more eggs. Keep it up. Ooh, what's that? Did you lay a blue egg? No, we're gonna say you did. I'll give you credit for that one. So here's the hen and uh, let's see if you can hear. Yeah, there's a chick in there. Now, I'm like 99% sure it's the same chick because, uh, well, over the past couple of days, I've actually came out here and checked and none of the other eggs hatched so far. So I would say that uh, she's probably, yeah, she's not even really sitting on the eggs anymore. She's just kind of standing in the nest. There's the uh, chick that did hatch. So uh, looks like they are about out of water. We're going to give them some new water. And it looks like they ate all the food we gave them too. Well, there's a little bit left, but we'll give them some more anyway. So how's it going? You hatch any more chicks? You know what? You went through a lot this spring. Spring, so uh, I'll settle for one. That's okay with me. You see how she's actually like walking around the nest now? That kind of tells me that she's not going to be hatching anymore. But yeah, I come out and I check the past couple of days and absolutely nothing changed. I don't even really see any more of the eggs. Let's see if I can spot some under there. She might have uh, cracked them open and ate them for uh, food. Well, I guess she's not going to eat them for anything else. Uh, oh, no, they're still in there, but there's the little chick too. Hey there, girl. It's all right. It's all right, girl. It's kind of upsetting that out of 17 eggs that we've put under her this spring one hatched but out of the eggs that could hatch it was a pretty good one to hatch i'm like 99 percent sure that one at least its mother is a leghorn because i'm pretty sure that's the only chickens i have now that are white whenever they're young which it's also white when it's an adult except for when it has mud on it Woo, it's hot out which is great for the chick by the way it's less work the hen has to do so we're going to give them some more bedding in here because that's very uh very tore up bedding there i think i actually gave them some like two days ago too but oh well better have too much than not enough now I'm gonna pull the hen back out here. Come on, girl, it's all right. Hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. I just need to get the eggs out of the nest. Come on, they're just gonna go rotten if you don't let me. Okay, I thought Cluck Jr. come in. I was kind of getting scared. Now she's probably just gonna try to find a way to get back to the chick. Hey there, little guy or girl. I hope you're a rooster though. All right, there's one of the eggs. There's two more, there's another. And there's looks like there's one more back there. Yep, there it is. Two, four, five. So she must have hatched out, or he, out of this one here. And then the other one probably just busted or something and she ate it. All right, so we'll get these out of here. And now let's put her back with her chick. I'm putting you back with your chick. Believe me, you want this to happen. There you go, easy. And then uh, I'm assuming these are just raw in here. So as always, they just get chucked over the hillside. Yeah, see like how it's all like nasty and stuff? Definitely rotten. So I guess they wasn't even fertilized in the first place. Because it had to be the right temperature that other one wouldn't have hatched. All right, so there we go, guys. Out of all of the 17 eggs, we got one chick. But hey, it's better than nothing. So what I'm going to do, it's a good thing that I did buy those other chicks before these hatched. Because what that's going to allow me to do is put them in here once they get their feathers. And then by that time, I can take this thing out and let them run with the flock. Because you don't want to add just one chick to the flock. Now, it is going to be easier for the hen to keep keep up with that chick because she only has one to take care of. But that also means that all of these other vicious beasts are gonna be trying to pick on it all at the same time. And no matter what chicken you put in here, they're all gonna pick at it a little bit just to see who's more dominant. But when you only have one chick, that can uh, really add up to a lot of pressure on just one little tiny bird. So it is best to add them in like groups so that they all kind of get picked on at the same time. And all the other chickens aren't focusing on just one chick. And that's the best way to kind of integrate a whole nother set of birds into a flock. Which I know sounds bad, but chickens are heartless. So by the time that this one is ready to uh, be released in here, our other ones down here should have their feathers and they can be taken off the heat lamp. Which by the way, these, yeah, it won't be long until they're ready to be uh, taken out. And as you can see, they are already flying up out of this. So they can fly good and they are actually getting very big. They probably don't even need the heat lamp now considering it's summer because they all fly up here and just sit there all day. How many do we have? Three, four, five, six. And then there's probably two more in behind over here. Oh, no, they're right there. Okay. Yeah, see? Yeah, so that like... They're probably ready to get out by now. As you can see, especially these smoky pearls, they already have all their feathers in. So I'd say they're all ready to be taken out of here. In fact, I got them one day before I set the eggs under the hen to hatch and it is day 22 or 23. So they're about three and a half weeks old. So like literally next week, I should be able to put them outside since it's summer. Now in the winter time, you wanna wait like maybe five or six weeks, but you know, it's not really winter time around here. As you know, the super bright stars 
is usually pretty hot. So the plan, these chicks here in like a week, we'll take the heat lamp out, bring the cage, and then we'll put the cage like probably in here because in here is already very crowded, thanks to you. So we'll put the cage in here, put all the chicks in here, and we'll just let them all kind of get used to each other. And after a couple of days, we'll open the cage up here, let those chicks out. And at the same time, we'll open this up and let that chick and the hen out. So it should work out perfectly. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll just keep checking in on the chicks and the other chicks and stuff. Welcome back, guys. I know I said it would be like a week. I don't know if that's the exact quote or not, but it sounds like something I'd say. In like a week? But it has actually been a week and three days. I know. I'm sorry I lied. But I actually didn't come out here three days ago because two reasons. Number one, it was really cold that day, and I thought it went winter again. It was like up in the 90s there for a few weeks, maybe even a month or two. But then it started raining, and it was like 30 degrees again. And then the second reason, I completely forgot it was a week, so the first reason didn't even matter. But we couldn't have done it that day anyway. Well, we probably could have, but I didn't want to. But today's the perfect day to move the chicks because well their light actually blew again so they're not really doing any good sitting here anyway might as well go ahead and put them up there that's kind of weird too this light has blown three times since i had these chicks which the first time it was like a two-year-old light bulb and i'd already used it one full season but the other two they were brand spanking new so they have no excuse i've never had a light go out twice during a, a single batch of chickens so let's go ahead and throw this thing off of here you guys don't need it you're big boys and girls now they actually are very big hey what's up bro Oh dang, is that part of the lot? Oh, it is. That's probably what broke it. I don't think it blowed. I think one of them flew into it. Well, dang it. So I guess if they're big enough and strong enough to fly into a lot and break it, they're probably big enough to be outside anyway. And like I said, it's still summer. Apparently that didn't matter three days ago though. Do you mind airplane? I'm trying to film or record or whatever, but bro, what's the deal? Yeah, fly away. You're scared, you know it. And also, that's my dog barking like half a mile away. Yes, I know you hear me. You have good ears. Who cares? That's probably what the guard's for, but they tore the guard off too, so it didn't really do any good. Okay, yeah, I know what we can do. I need to figure out if I'm gonna need this cage or not. So we'll take the smallest chick, which looks like probably one of those two there in the back. I'm gonna say this one. Huh, it's also the calmest chick. This is probably not a smart idea, but I can't really close the door. Actually, I'll just set it in the rabbit pen real quick. There's your new uh, temporary friend. There we go. Whoa, what is happening? This is so cool. Interesting? Yes. Yeah, I don't think they really care too much. Anyway, let's go see if this guy can fit through the regular fence. Oh yeah, by the way, the chickens are out, so uh, he could easily attack me. Like I'm just using this thing as a pointer. By the way, future video, be ready for it. Oh geez, I about tripped. What's up ducks, ain't seen you today. So uh, all this fence is the same, so it don't matter where we check it. Let's see if, can this dude fit through there? I'm pretty sure he can. Yep, he can. Okay, now I gotta get him out real quick. Bro's chill, I swear. Bro, you can't back up any farther. What do you want me to do? Let's make sure he's not injured. He is acting a little weird. Uh, okay, okay. I thought his foot was messed up. It's just he had it clawed up. Bro, shut up. So that kind of eliminates that. What I was gonna do is just use this duck pin here instead of bringing the other cage up here and just putting them all in here. That way they would be next to the chickens, but I wouldn't have to pull anything else up here. But if he can fit through, then uh, not only can he get out of that cage and then get attacked by prey, Predators, but probably even more of a risk he can get in here with cluck jr before it's time and it'd be even worse because the other chickens probably can't fit through that other small one we saw it probably could but like i said before the bigger group you add them in the better off you are so we're just gonna have to drag this whole entire cage all the way up there but at least we can take them out of the tote now you ain't gonna be needing this anymore and even if you do it not being on is not gonna help you any all right let's see if we can get them all to go in there yeah, go on. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, that one's getting out. Can it back up? Oh, it did. Oh, perfect. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Bro, get off. Do you not want to get? Just no, stop it. All right, we're good. So we'll get their feeder in water here in a second. So, extension cord, you are no longer needed. Now get. Actually, I guess it is kind of convenient. I like being able to charge my cameras up here. All right, let's make sure none of these Houdinis escaped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go. Woo, that's a lot heavier than it looks. What the? What is that? Oh God, guys, I hear something. I don't know what that is. Oh my God, it's a Velociraptor. Oh, it's a whole flock of them. Wait, is it flock or pet? I don't know, we'll go with flock. Oh God. She spotted me. Run. Ow. That kind of hurt. Ow. Ooh. It went my ankle. Ah, psych. I got you. Anyway. 
God, who put this camera in the way? Whoever it was, they should have thought that out more. Ow. Mm. That time I actually fell. Oh yeah, got my knee pretty good. Oh, uh, that's great. So I'm gonna just set the whole cage inside this. That way it doesn't take away any of the chicken's regular room and crowd the pen. I'll just take these things out here. Tell you one thing though, it's gonna be hard to get in to feed them. But it'll be all right. This is probably why I failed geometry. <laughs> I didn't fail geometry. Man, it's hot out. And my knee, ooh, wow, that really hurts. Ooh. As you can see, this is literally the most serious injury ever. Ooh, ooh. Just crush this up. We don't need it no more. Yeah, it shouldn't take it long. I'll just let it rot and then I'll get the wire and use it for something. So ducks, how you liking your pen? They they really love this pen. That tarp thing I built them, it's kind of getting a little broken up, but I mean, as long as it's working, I don't care. Get this tree branch off the top here. And yeah, ducks really don't care either. Now chickens, that's a different story. Okay, they want like a three bedroom house with like a thousand square foot living room. Chickens, man, they're picky. Oh yeah, I forgot about all these chickens. Okay, you guys are fine, Clug Jr. Stay away from me. I have a tripod and I'm not afraid to use it. Yeah, you heard me, buddy. Oh, there's a tick. Hey, you wanna eat this tick? All right, geez, calm down. Kill it with a rock. But yeah, Clug Jr., he hates me. End of story. Mr. Cluck, sometimes I just felt like, you know, he just, he's been a little extra protective, but yeah, he don't protect the hens. He just hates me. There's no like protective state there. And that's part of the reason why I'm hoping that the single chick that hatched is Mr. Cluck's. Or it could even be his. I know I've like been wanting one that's like related to Mr. Cluck, but you know, Cluck Jr. hits his son, so it'd be Mr. Cluck's grandson. So that part really wouldn't matter. No matter what, that chick is related to Mr. Cluck. I'm just hoping it's a rooster that's not gonna kill me. But like I said in the last videos, I don't care if it attacks me. As long as it protects the hen and doesn't kill other roosters or other chickens in general, I don't care. But anyway, I'll fix all their uh, water and food and I'll give that to them. I'm not going to show you guys that because, uh, well, you've seen me do it probably at least three times now. I know at least once in this video. So you kind of get how things work. Oh, well, what the heck? I'm bleeding from my knuckle too. That sucks. And don't even hurt. I don't know where it came from. Oh, probably just came from that. Anyway, here is the uh, hen and her chick. As you can see, they're out roaming around, living their best life. Awesome. Anyway, we're going to be turning them loose soon also, but we have to give the other chicks a couple of days to get used to those chickens. That's the whole reason we put them over here. So once they get a little bit used to them, we'll turn them loose in here and we'll just let them roam. In fact, we may have to let them uh, get a little bigger anyway because they can fit through this fence. Now I do have chicken wire up, which is designed to keep the chicks inside. But yeah, that didn't stop them last year. So uh, probably ain't going to stop them this year either. And then we'll take this thing off and let them free. And I'm hoping she will actually maybe protect those chickens over over there because they still chirp so i'm hoping if one of these chickens go after one of those she will hear the chirping and then just attack whoever it is no matter what i have no clue if that's how it works or not i know mother hens will adopt other chicks but they're a lot older than her chicks so i don't know how that's going to work out so i'll see you guys in a couple of days and we'll do all that zoom <laughs> oh, welcome back guys we're back out here and it has been something insert something so it sounds like i said something so i think the chicks are uh, pretty big now and big enough even the small ones so that they can't fit through the fence so i think we're good on that and today we are going to attempt to halfway maybe almost move them into the bigger pen with the bigger chickens also merka so yeah, I could just leave them in here until they get big enough, but uh, yeah, this pen's a little too small for them. As you can see, the white ones here, those were solid white. They're covered in brown, and that's because, uh, well, they just kind of poop everywhere. Now, I don't blame them. They don't really have a bathroom or anything. But like, dang, guys, okay? Like, I cleaned this, literally. I just cleaned this yesterday morning. You could see the fresh pine shavings there, and I gave them food and water, and they drank like a whole gallon of water and ate like a whole seven pounds of feed. Honestly, though, they probably just spilled out the feed and the water, but either way, they made a giant mess so i think this pen is a little too small for them now this pen would probably be a better size but i think that they've been close enough to the chickens like as you can see right there that chicken is probably like six inches from the other chickens it doesn't look like it really cares so i think we're going to be safe to just go ahead and put them in here anyway and on top of that we're going to try to let the hen out today too and her chick not just the hen that would be a little bit cruel although it's hot enough out here so uh the chick would probably survive it's like a whole 105 degrees not really though actually it might be i don't know so there she is and uh yeah they actually keep food and water pretty decently 
point. The only problem is she likes to scratch around like a normal hen does, and she just kind of scratches all of the pond shavings into their food. So therefore, it kind of gets uh, dirty, and you can see she's still got like a quart of water in there, which I think it's like a liter or something. I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's that's a problem. But out here, I have an automatic water, so that'll work perfectly if I can get her out of here. And also, look how big this one's growing. It's actually growing pretty fast. It even has its comb started already. But I mean, if you look at its mother, which I don't know where she is, she's somewhere around there. Yeah, there she is. But look how big her comb is. And she's the smallest chicken we have, at least adult chicken. Now it's not as big as his, but now uh, Mr. Cluck, he was a rose comb. So I mean, they don't have very big combs anyway. It's kind of like those crested dinosaurs or anything like that. But as you can see, he has a regular uh, single comb and his is, you know, it's a little bit bigger than hers. Or at least if it's not, hers is like over to the side. So that chicken there, it is her daughter or son. Like I said, I don't even know yet. Hopefully since it's already grown, it's comb and it's a boy, but I don't really know. I don't think I said it in this video, but I actually hatched off eggs in that round that that chick came from that was within 30 days of Mr. Cluck dying, which means that it's possible that that's Mr. Cluck's offspring. And I'm really hoping it is because I do not like him, even though he is half Mr. Cluck. So anyway, let's go ahead and get to work. So first thing we're going to do is figure out a way to move these chicks because I ain't pulling that whole cage out again. And it's also probably like 20 or 30 pounds heavier because of all the poop and food and water. And the chicks have grown too. So that's also going to add to some weight. I think I'll just stuff them in a bucket. Yeah, we'll do that. And hey, look, here's a bucket. Don't mind the constant <laughs> quacking noises. So these things love getting out. I've noticed whenever I feed them, they just want to take off running. So it shouldn't be too hard to get them in a bucket. All right, guys, you're coming out of there. I'm going to turn it this way. That way they can't go back in that corner there. You guys get in the bucket. Come on, hop in. No, you got to get in the bucket. I could probably throw some food in there. Actually, yeah. Yeah, this is totally food and not just a piece of garbage. Get it. Come on. You know you want it. You, you know you want it. Let's try lighter colored garbage. Nothing? Or I could just use actual leaves. Okay, yep. I guess we're going to have to do it manually. This one I think might be a rooster, guys. He's got a real bright red comb on him. I think it's a rooster. No, you've got to stay in there. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. All right, I'm not gonna put too many in here because I don't wanna crowd them and stress them out. So we'll do about four at a time. And I'll just leave them in this bucket and I'll crack the lid. Come on, I think I can, yeah, there's only four left, so I should be able to fit the rest. So, uh, dang, dude's got hops. Come on in. Got him, or her, I don't actually know yet. Okay, yeah, those are gonna be the hard ones. They're a little more skittish than the rest. So whenever I usually do this, they try to come outside because they think I just filled it up for some reason. Yeah, come on, little dude. What about the food? Maybe they want food a little more. Got one. Whoa, no, 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 no. You can't fly. I mean, you can, but you can't. No, come on, you gotta come this way. No, 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 you gotta come up here. Come up here so I can put you in a bucket. I know it sounds unappealing, but you'll uh, enjoy it in the long run. There's one, and there's the other. That was actually pretty easy. All right, and we got them. And now to put them in there. What the heck? Well, the chicken coop's leaking again. Okay, not really. Well, it actually is, but. Yeah, it's the water here. They tip it over and this is an automatic water. So instead of just not filling back up, it just fills back up. So therefore, not only do my tanks drain, but 64 gallons of water come through the floor, which if you know anything about, um, wood that's not good it'll make it rot so after we get everything we're actually going to try to fix that problem yeah we're going to fix it real good not really we're just going to screw it down anyway we have the chicks here in this bucket and that bucket too so let's go ahead and add them to the flock all the chickens are in here even cluck jr so i mean if they do attack i could just you know go in there and stop him specifically cluck jr because i don't like him not even a little bit so they are probably going to peck on it so don't like panic if they are that's just how chickens do things as long as they don't like full on attack it, we're good. So there's the first four. So far, so good. And here's the last four. All right, guys. I think that worked. They don't even seem to really care that they're in there. They're just kind of hanging out, you know? What's up, little dog? Yeah, see like that one just did? What that one's doing is just telling this one, hey, I'm more dominant than you. So yeah, that's really nothing to worry about there. So I think we're good. We'll just kind of close this door and, uh, and I'll be around here anyway. So like if uh, it goes bad wrong, I'll be here to intervene. Hey, look, even the chicks are... Yeah, they're, they're socializing with each other. That's awesome. Oh, dang. But someone's got a headache. Let's see if any's went outside yet. Nope, not yet, but shouldn't be too long. See, they're not even worried about the chicks. They're just following me because I think I've got food. Hey, guys, you want some food? Here you go. Sock. Sock. <laughs> 
Yeah, I got you, didn't I, Cluck Jr.? Yeah, that's what I thought, big guy. Wait a second, what is that? Hey, move. What is that? Who laid it? You. It was you. Oh, hey, he's out here. It was you, wasn't it? That's what I thought, big guy. Or girl. You saw me coming and covered it up with mud, didn't you? It was Cluck Jr. Yeah, Cluck Jr., you trying to cover? That's what I thought. You know who didn't try to cover for the hens? Mr. Cluck, that's why he's a better rooster than you. And since it's covered in mud, you know what I'm gonna have to do now? That's what. I guess they didn't take it as a punishment. Hey, there's one. And there's another. So yeah, they're making their way out here, just kind of slowly, which I'm okay with. They're probably in there eating water anyway. Yes, you eat water. And by the way, I know we're gonna have 25 chickens in here. And yeah, I know that's kind of a lot for this amount of space. Don't worry, we've got something coming. It totally has nothing to do with that open area there. Oh gosh, what's that? <laughs> Get off my arm, you loser. Yeah, it totally has nothing to do with that area up there. Anyway, let's go ahead and release the hen and the little chick we hatched. All right, so what we have to do, this is only screwed on over there next to that other nesting box. So all we gotta do is unscrew that. And I'm gonna take a completely random guess and say that it's probably a star drive. I totally didn't just build this thing like two weeks ago and remember it, it was like four weeks. And wow, they have got it dirty in that amount of time. All right. Oh. I guess I actually didn't remember. It's a four-way. Don't judge me, I built a lot of stuff. That's my foot you're stepping on. Dude just said he don't follow the rules. All right. I don't know where the screw went, but oh well, we don't need it now. All right. And it will move now, so that's good. And here goes. I'm gonna move this water and I'll just tip it backwards. That way I can get them out before it crushes them or something. All right guys, come on out. You are now free to roam, get out of my way, because I need to fix this. I mean, the hen, she's been trapped here for like at least eight weeks now, and she don't even want out. Like, bro, do you not know you can get out? You're free. Get. Yeah, come on out of there. You're good. Real good. Go on out, chick. Follow your mother. Yeah, exactly. All right. Let's get this piece of junk out of here. I'm actually going to probably use that next year, so uh, I'm going to try not to really break it. Hey, hey, quit pecking on it. Whoa. Well, now the hens are fighting. She does have to reestablish her pecking order so that she can protect the hens. Hey, big guy, get out. Okay, she got her off of it. We're good. No injuries. And uh, I don't know where the chick went, but uh, hopefully it's somewhere around here. Okay, it went in the nesting box. We're good. Hey, mother hen, wrong nesting box. Dang, she just... Uh, She's just a bully. All right, so they should still be fine. Now to the next thing. It's 100% natural for them to fight like they just did. What's not natural is the way he fought Mr. Cluck. That wasn't a fight for dominance. That was like a pure hatred, which is definitely not natural. So that's why I don't like Cluck Jr. But yeah, the way that that just happened, completely normal. In fact, her winning is gonna make sure that that chick doesn't get bullied a lot. Anytime another chicken's picking on it, she'll just run in and uh, intervene. So chicks do need special food and I've been feeding them some. We got some more today and we're gonna have to actually put all the chickens on the chick food until they're grown. So we're gonna actually put this this in the uh, regular chicken feeder in there for a little while and we'll have all the chickens on chick food. Ugh. Yes, that was pointless, but it was funny. I'm telling you guys, random kitchen knives are one of the most useful things you'll ever find. Hey, get in there. Yeah. All right. So yeah, seems like now that they've all got food, they're a little bit less uh, picky at each other. And those chickens out there, they're looking really nice and also look like they're having fun. Oh yeah, and I actually have to fix the watering device. I don't know why I just called it that. Sorry, no more water for you. Oh, that looks like a problem. Anyway, oops, I dumped it out. By the way, this is just another old watering pan. I use it as a pedestal to put the other water on so they don't get like pond shavings and stuff in it. So what I'm thinking is we put like four screws in it and hold that down and then just bolt that to the floor around the lip there. And I think that should work pretty good. And I already tried to get that off and it won't come off. So what we're gonna do is take this random branch I found, measure the diameter of the bottom. So it's from the end to those two leaves there. And then we'll just use this to put it on there. That looks about right there. Can I get my shoes untied? All right, let's go. That looks good. And right in here. It's a little lopsided, but it'll work. Actually, one second. Okay, so these screws here are like really flimsy. So I'm gonna screw some pieces of uh, firewood into the bottom here so it'll hold them in place. 
So immediately after I started recording, the camera shut off and I lost all of this. Basically all I did, well not basically, it's literally all I did. So I went ahead and I screwed these pieces of firewood onto the bottom of it. That way I can go over here and then just put other screws on it and it'll hold there perfectly. So that's where we're at now. So let's make sure it fits. Guys, it's been here for like five minutes and you've already pooped on it. What the heck? So let's try this again. All right, there we go. That's better. And then we'll just put this in its place and then screw it to the floor. And I'm only using one screw because I'll probably end up having to move this soon. And they're probably not gonna be trying to lift it up anyway, so it should hold it in place. Dang, that is tough metal. Ow, mm, that hurt. You know what? I think I'm just not going to screw it to the floor. That should be fine. They usually don't tip that part over anyway. Woo. All right, guys, there we go. We got them in. We got them all put together. I don't know what I'm putting together. Anyway, we did make a huge mess here, but that's what cleaning is for. Just think about it. If there wasn't messes, there wouldn't be cleaning. I don't know what point I'm trying to make, but whoa, what is my voice doing? We got all of the uh, chickens together now. They actually seem to be doing pretty good with each other. It looks like all of them are uh, starting to get along a little bit better, and those chicks are following that hen into the nest i don't know maybe she'll take them in probably too late for that but uh i guess it's still possible anyway that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed i know it was kind of like a uh just a kind of a plain video i guess you could say nothing really exciting happened but it's chickens what do you expect the only thing more boring than them is ducks they literally do nothing and also i know a lot of you guys enjoy this kind of video and uh i got a lot of requests to update you guys with the chicks so uh here you go have this video so hopefully it's not a long one and i didn't waste half of your day because i've already wasted my entire one. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, let me know by leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing. Unless you don't want to. And I will see you guys. That's a big leaf. Woo! I will see you guys in the next video. And uh... You are now stuck on the wall.